It's time to chill out. We've been talking a lot about the Xbox this year, so why not play the most famous Xbox game of all time? Arguably the reason a lot of people bought an Xbox at all, and probably the only reason to buy an Xbox One ever. Uh, that'll be really good for the upcoming Halo game. Um, that's one of the only reasons I buy an Xbox. Ironically, despite its now strong association with Microsoft, Halo was originally intended to be a Mac game. Yeah, I know, Mac game. It's an oxymoron today, but back in the 90s it wasn't as much of a joke. Sure, even back then Windows was the dominant player, but at least Apple was pretending to try. I want to talk one other thing real briefly here, and that's games. We love games, and we're trying to bring as many great games to the Mac as we can. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Okay, they probably were trying when they thought they had to. And it is true that Bungie was initially a Mac-only game developer, due to co-founder Jason Jones' affinity for them. Therefore, it only made sense that Halo's first ever public appearance would be at Macworld 1999. At that time, it was a third-person shooter, so probably quite a different game from the one we ended up with, but as far as the look and feel, it's very much Halo, and there was considerable hype for what was sure to be a great game for the Mac. At least, until the following year. The Mac gaming community was concerned when a few weeks ago, they read that Microsoft was going to acquire Bungie. And they were concerned, what would that mean about the future of Bungie's games on the Mac, about the future of Halo on the Mac? Okay, so it's a good question, right? Am um, I, a faithful Mac user from the year 2000, who this game was first revealed to the year before, actually going to be able to play it? Well, here comes a Microsoft exec to help clear the air about all of that. But you know, Bungie, let me tell you about Bungie. You mm -hmm. know, we're working on this other project, it's called Xbox. And uh, you know, the whole reason that we wanted to get together with Bungie was so that we could bring Halo to Xbox. And uh, I know you're probably not, uh, not super excited about that, but I, I want to bring up uh, Alex Seropian, co-founder of Bungie, and he's going to talk a little about, uh, about why it's so important that, uh, that we do that. <laughs> Did you get all of that? So to answer the question of, is Halo still coming to the Mac? He said, we're working on this thing called Xbox and we really want Halo on the Xbox. Anyway, here's someone else. <laughs> Why did you, you could have said nothing and sounded less guilty. <laughs> the silence is so palpable. These people are not impressed. Thanks, Steve. Um, a lot of you probably know that Bungie, we got our start on the Mac. Um, and uh, I'm here to just let you all know that we still have a lot of love for the Mac platform and that yes, indeed, we will be bringing Halo out for the Mac. <laughs> okay, finally, a straight answer. But why didn't he just say that from the beginning? Why do you have to waffle around with, well, we're working on the Xbox, I don't care, I don't care but uh, it just made it sound so much worse. Boy, I really hope somebody got fired for that blunder. Okay, so as promised, Halo did eventually come out on the Mac. However, it was in 2003, two years after the original Xbox release. So let's say I'm now a faithful Mac user in the year 2003. My computer is a couple years old. It's from the year Halo was first announced in 1999. A little old, but not that old. The question is, can I finally play Halo on it after waiting all of those years for it to come out on the Mac? Well, let's find out. All right, so here I am with my best friend, my iMac G3. Let's go ahead and install Halo. Now, don't look, uh, because then you'll notice that I'm pirating Halo. <laughs> All right. Processing Halo. Mentally and emotionally, I'm sure. This is like a therapy session for my iMac. This was me when I played Mass Effect 3. Okay, here we go, check this out. 800 megahertz or faster, PowerPC, G4, G5, or Intel processor. All right, what have we got? 500 megahertz, G3. Well, we don't quite match the minimum requirements, but we are on the right operating system for what that's worth. All right, let's play. Halo requires a CPU running 675 megahertz. F well, make up your fucking mind. Was it 800 or 675? To bypass this check, hold down the P key when you start Halo. God, they're really looking out for me. It's like they wanted this to happen. And why wouldn't they? Yeah, there we go. 32 megabytes of VRAM. What? What? How many megabytes of VRAM do I have? God damn it, it's a shame to even tell me. Eight? Oh, <laughs> that's a little less than 32. You're right. Is this really how, how it has to end? 32 megabytes of RAM. Ah, uh, not today, old friend. You did all that processing for nothing. 
Or did it? Because it turns out this VRAM check was only added to later releases of Halo for Mac, specifically the Universal Binary version released in 2006 when Apple started transitioning from PowerPC to Intel. I discovered that if I dug up the original 2003 release with its noticeably more primitive installer, no such VRAM check existed so the game would let me play. Okay, so as you can see, I was so upset about the G3 not working last time that I cut off half my hair. But that's okay, now I know how to make it work! Oh, hang on, let's, just, let's watch some movies. Well, it struggled a little bit with that. And that was just the opening logo, so uh, I have a good feeling about this. All right, without further ado, here's the feature presentation. Wait, 698? Why do they keep changing this? Didn't it say something else last time? Officially, it is still 800. Anyways, we should be able to bypass this by holding P. All right, it works. Okay, interesting. Uh, I see that some options are already not accessible for me. Anti-aliasing, do we even want to entertain the idea? Lens flare extreme! You know what? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. So how about we just leave them as the defaults and uh, we can adjust as we go. <laughs> Ooh, that was a tasteful fade out. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so it turns out the iMac G3 only runs in one refresh rate per resolution and my capture card didn't support the refresh rate it had at 640 by 480. In its defense, the refresh rate in question is 117 hertz. Uh, we might just have to play it in a window. I don't see any resolution options here. I don't even know if it could play it higher than 640 by 480. I do have to say, MFs be talking about getting 120 hertz today. Dude, we already had 117 hertz in 1999. All right, in a window it is, let's go. Westlake Interactive? What, like the Irish boy band? Oh wait, that's Westlife, my <laughs> bad. I mean, they did warn me. <laughs> uh... Oh, the credits. Great. Uh, I could probably look this up and see which option is which. I know I have five options. Is the top one single player? No, it's multiplayer. I'm like cracking the Da Vinci code right now. Oh, there's actually a sixth option at the top for single player. It's over here. What, you can't see it? What do you mean you can't see it? Just click the sixth option, idiot. Okay, let's start the campaign. Let's go, boys. Oh yes, cutscenes. I hope Captain Keys' face is just a big white blob. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Wait, that's, that's actually... Okay, let's be clear. It looks like sh obviously, but I'm actually kind of impressed. You can clearly see a ship, and there's like shadows and lighting. <laughs> Quite a lot of lighting in some areas. <laughs> so, we're looking right into the sun. <laughs> I love seeing these black silhouettes running around. It's like watching season one of Ruby. I actually kind of like this. I don't think that looks so bad. I get it, there's no textures at all. It's running at one FPS, but it's it's kind of cool looking. It's like looking at some behind the scenes thing before the CG is fully done. It actually kind of makes sense because if the biggest bottleneck is the VRAM, then it probably literally can't upload textures to the GPU. That's probably what's happening here. You heard the lady, move like you got a purpose. But sir, I can't see anything, it's all white. Sir, do you have any sunglasses? I have to say, I am impressed that it hasn't crashed yet. Despite everything that we're seeing here, it's still managing to stay functional. Oh no. <laughs> sir, have you seen my head anywhere? <laughs> Aren't we in a bit of a hurry? Aren't we like under attack right now? Oh, you know what? We should check the um, activity monitor, yeah. Let's take a look at how the CPU is holding up. 90% CPU. The activity monitor is in fact fighting with Halo for CPU cycles. Go ahead and climb out. Finally, okay, we get to do something. Oh nice. It just dropped down to zero CPU usage. Hell yeah. See, I told you guys this thing was powerful. Uh you know what? Let's submit a bug report. I think Apple needs to know about this. Hi, Tim Apple. I was just trying to play a nice game of Halo on my iMac, and for some reason, it crashed. I couldn't imagine why, but maybe you will know. Thanks for all the work you do. Uh, I hope he's not confused that the date and time say 1969. Wait, what? 
Why can't I send it? Oh, because I'm not connected to the internet. True. Hang on. Can we get an ethernet connection in here? I think we can. Here we go. Life giving ethernet. Yes, let's do it. Send to Apple. Ah, well, I feel good. I think it'll be some useful information for Tim. Okay, so let's, let's try some different settings. I know that there are a lot on this config window that I just left at default. Uh, I'm gonna see if uh, any of these make any difference whatsoever. <laughs> um, yeah, no shaders, let's try that. Lens flare. <laughs> as much as I love an extreme lens flare, let's go low. <laughs> let's try that out. Is that better? You can see the halo now. Oh, he's got a head! Yeah, I think this is actually a little bit better with no shaders, whatever that means. If it doesn't crash this time, I might actually be able to get somewhere with this. Ah, there we go, it didn't crash. Look, I'm actually playing. Oh shit, I'm on the moon, but <laughs> Look how floaty the jump is. Oof! Wait, check this out, I can do some Mario 64 style optimization by looking at the floor. Look at that, that's like 20 FPS. Oh, whoa, holy sh**. Is this Metal Gear Solid VR missions? All right, hurry up, I can't wait for you. Wait, I, I can't walk around him? Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, I have to wait for him? Oh, okay, finally. Also, everything is still green, and I don't know why. Oh, it's blue now! Man, this, this is a really interesting visual style. In fact, can someone make this like the third graphical option in the Master Chief collection? That'd be sick. Oh no. Oh no, I hear a lot of hard drive activity. Oh, oh, is it coming back? Oh, damn it. Damn it, I really wanted to beat that stage. Hey Tim, me again. I've been enjoying the first two minutes or so of Halo, but have struggled to get to the third minute. Regardless, I am impressed by your computer from 1999. I can't wait to see what you come out with in 2000. Oh shit! because I connected it to the internet, it's now got the correct date and time. Wow, impressive. All right, well that should be a lot less confusing for Tim. Okay, so we're probably not finishing the campaign on here, but we might be able to get away with some multiplayer. I'm gonna try to set that up later in the video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for creating a beautiful and professional looking website with no hassle. If you're looking to start a business, blog, online store, or really any kind of web presence, Squarespace is the easiest way to do it. They have hundreds of responsive templates to suit any need you may have, and you get a fantastic WYSIWYG editor that lets you do anything, no code required. But if you do like to code, you can also enter custom CSS and header code anywhere you want. I especially like running my online store on Squarespace because it means that all that delicate payment information is being handled by widely used and well-tested code, rather than something cobbled together by me at 2am. So if you're looking for a convenient and straightforward way to make a website, look no further than squarespace.com. They have a free trial that lets you check out all of their features and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash mattkc to save 10% off your first purchase. Okay, so what I have here is an iMac G4, the next generation, and it looks really big, but that's just because I have a wide angle lens on. Now this is much closer to what they had in mind. In fact, I think the specs might be literally identical to the system requirements for Halo. Let's check this out. 800 megahertz G4, 800 megahertz G4, 32 megabytes of VRAM, 32 megabytes of VRAM. It's pretty spot on. This is like the exact computer that they wrote this for. I just thought it would be fair to kind of show off what the game was supposed to look like. All right, so this time we started off with no shaders. What? On the G3, I at least had the option for vertex shaders. What the hell? Is this graphics card worse than that one? Okay, I guess we'll just leave it at no shaders. So here comes our first advancement of the G4. The FMVs play properly. Now that's a smooth logo. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just that little bit of extra VRAM, really. You know, these two computers, again, only differ by about two or three years. Imagine having that much of a disparity between a computer from this year and a computer from 2019. It looks good, but there's something, the, the visuals definitely do seem a little bit off. Like just look at the Master Chief suit. It's a little bit cartoony looking. Yeah, it's, it's obviously a lot better. 
but everything just seems slightly off. That's probably the no shaders setting that we had earlier. It's definitely not hitting a consistent 60 or even 30. Like this over here, this isn't even 30 FPS. This is looking pretty smooth. This is looking like it could be something like 40 to 50 if we uh, employ the same floor technique. <laughs> LOL. Alright, now I have to admit the frame rate is a little slower than I would consider acceptable. You can see the CPU is getting maxed out now. What's ironic is because this is a lot closer to playable than this was, I have a lot less sympathy for it. This was objectively much, much worse, but I was kind of like, Look at it try, look at it go. Whereas on the G4, I'm kind of like, oh really, it's only like 25 FPS? Pfft, that's weak. That's a bit shit, isn't it? Okay, so I put away the G4 because I wanted to try this out on a more modern system. This is Mac OS High Sierra, much better hardware, should be able to play Halo with no sweat. I figured a modern system would be the best chance it would have to look good. Indeed, this finally allowed me to use all three shader options and a fourth one that I hadn't seen before. I'm guessing this was added in Halo Universal, which I had to use here for Intel support. But to keep it fair, I stuck with the highest shader option that the original game had. Oh, but we might finally be able to try extreme lens flares. Hell yeah. Wow, look at that. All these blurring effects. We've come so far since the G3. I mean, we've been fretting over 32 megabytes of VRAM. What does this have, like several gigabytes worth? No more odd unshaded polygons or missing gold visor. I don't know what kind of Mac you would have needed to get this back in 2003. I guess the Power Mac G5 came out that year. That's not overkill at all. But I guess we can at least confirm that none of those graphical differences were the fault of the port, just the iMac G4's apparently weak GPU. All right, I promised a LAN. Let's set up a LAN. I still have my G3 here. Oh, you can't, you can't see it behind this monitor. I still have the G3, two iMacs, both running Halo. Yes, this is actually Halo. You might just think it's a white screen, but it's actually Halo. We're gonna see how this turns out. So I'll host the game on here and I'll join it on here. I don't even wanna think about what would happen if we hosted the game on here as well. Here we go. And let's go ahead and join over here. Oh. oh no. This looks a little like what Bubsy 3D Online would look like. Now what you're probably thinking is, Matt, wouldn't it make sense if you had a friend over who could play the second computer? Yes, uh, but the thing about having friends is... Oh, okay, there I am. All right, hang on, let me shoot myself. Let me see if I can score a victory on the G3 end. Really struggling here to get a good shot. Yeah. Yep, yep, I'm doing it. I'm scoring a victory. <laughs> nice! Oh, I'm supposed to be red. I mean, it was a bit of a rigged competition. The G4 didn't really have a chance. Oh, yo, let's get in a Warthog. Man, that mountain is kind of struggling to exist. Okay, this is gonna be the real problem, is actually finding where I am. Oh, <laughs> what the hell happened there? It looked like it flipped, but then it didn't. All right, where am I? Oh, I saw me through the rock. Through the rock, yeah. Oh, oh, sh <laughs> Yeah, I got him! I'm actually succeeding at Halo on this. Now, maybe it would be a little bit different if I was actually playing against someone who was playing back. But what I'm getting from this is that it is theoretically possible to play Halo online. Let's do some co-op. Let me get in the back. Oh, I can't. I have to be playing Team Slayer. Yeah! Hey, friend. Us Mac users gotta stick together. Oh shit, you couldn't even see me coming. That was like a jump scare. Surprise, motherfucker. Wait, what the hell is above me? Oh, it's that little green triangle. It's <laughs> it's not quite able to draw that green triangle above my head. Need a ride? I have candy. Yeah, look at that. Cooperation. I can shoot with one mouse, drive with the other mouse. It's perfectly doable. Just had to get me an iMac G3 to do it. I'd love to try one day maybe setting up like a server with my friends or maybe you guys where we all play on outdated Apple hardware or at least one of us does and it's a hilarious meme. The problem is I'm sure someone will be like, yeah, I'm totally playing on an iMac G3. Pfft. He's on his Ryzen Threadripper. All right, well, with that, I think we have exhausted all of what Halo on the Mac has to offer. We didn't quite get through the whole campaign on the G3, but it wasn't for lack of trying. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into some nerdy shit. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.